Hey, what's up you guys? It's Larian Garbuzo with you and today I want to go through user segmentation using k-means We would union four different uh, data sets uh, based on user ID and make the segmentation using uh, k-means and reducing a number of features with PCA Let's do it together! Okay Let's dive to the code. Uh, we will do it in uh, Python notebooks. We would use uh, Python version 3. And as usual, we would start with uh, importing the libraries uh, NumPy, uh, Pandas, um, Matplotlib for plotting, Escalern for pre processing, for using uh, k means, uh, for matrix, uh, and for decomposition, uh, we would use PCA. Uh, for reducing uh, the number of features uh, and we would use matplotlib inline uh, so with pandas we would read csv uh, we would uh, read our first data, uh, data set uh, you remember that it contains uh, the task contains uh, four da data sets and we would union it uh, based on user ids so we would use uh, pandas uh, read csv uh, and parse dates from uh, the data sets we would uh, see the head of uh, a data set we would see uh, the info it means uh, the type of uh, different uh, features of the data set we would uh, see the uh, explore the shape uh, and uh, a little statistics, uh, the instrument type, we would uh, use value counts and see uh, minimum and maximum dates of uh, this data, uh, of the data include, included in this data set. We would look at the uh, describe uh, and uh, so it would be the deals uh, data set. We will do the same with the deposits, parse the dates, I read it with the uh, pandas read csv, see the head, see the info, uh, see the uh, value count, describe the data set, see the shape of the data set, and we would do uh, the same with the events, uh, we would uh, read it with uh, read csv, parse the dates, see the head, see the info, see the shape, uh, we would look for the time period of the data set, minimum and maximum dates. Uh, we would uh, value count uh, our feature platform uh, and uh, uh, the feature name. And uh, we would uh, load the fourth data set uh, with the pandas read CSV, parse the dates, divide the thousands. Uh, this function is included in the read CSV of pandas. Uh, see the head, see the info, see the shape, see the uh, value counts and look for the time period. So now we, uh, we've got uh, at our uh, Python uh, notebook for datasets and we would uh, to explore and to uh, feature engineer it we uh, would uh, use some additional functions. So we would uh, define get dummies uh, and uh, we would turn a column of string values into uh, categorical variables through one hot encoding. So we would uh, get dummies from the categorical variables of these uh, uh, data sets. Uh, and we would uh, start da data preparation. We would start it with the deposits. Uh, so uh, we would uh, merge uh, two datasets, deposits and users. Uh, we would, uh, and after merging it, uh, we would create some additional feature as a day since reg, because uh, uh, we would need it in uh, client, uh, in user clusterizing. Uh, we would use, uh, and after we merge it, uh, we would aggregate it, uh, we would uh, use uh, aggregation, aggregations, uh, so we can use lambda functions and uh, we've got uh, standard, uh, we've got standard uh, functions as maximum, uh, minimum, median, sum, uh, 
uh, of different features and we would uh, group by and aggregate uh, these uh, merged uh, data sets and we would uh, and we see the columns of uh, these merged data sets uh, after that we would get dummies uh, of this data set uh, this is needed uh, to uh, get flatted uh, data set for user segmentation and uh, drop uh, some rows uh, based uh, on the distribution and see the histogram so the distribution of uh, one of the features we do the same with the deals uh, we merge it uh, we uh, make uh, aggregations a group by uh, by user ID and mm, aggregate uh, the data from this data set and see the columns drop some uh, rows and see the distribution after we uh, we've made it the same for the third data set it's called the event uh, so it's a little more coding and if you want to see the code I can send it to you just put it uh, in the comments uh, of the of this video so we're merging uh, data sets do the aggregation grouping by it uh, get dummies from it and finally we need to get all this data uh, together all the data sets from our uh, from our database we need to aggregate it to uh, get it all together so uh, we do it with the uh, with this line of code uh, dropping all uh, null values uh, see the shape and finally we can use uh, algorithms for user segmentation so uh, what would we do we would uh, standard normalize it you can uh, see it over here uh, with the fit transform uh, minimum maximum scalar uh, we would reduce the number of features because we've got a lot of features uh, we want to reduce it and we would do it with the pca and we would use k-means uh, uh, for the uh, user segmentation so we we'll use came m model uh, and fit it uh, and fit it with our data okay and uh, for the score uh, we we'll would use kalinsky harabas score and uh, silhot score okay so uh, here uh, here it is uh, we're dropping the user ID because there is no additional uh, information in it. Uh, we are uh, normalizing the data with the standard normalized, uh, dropping new values. And here is the magic. We would use uh, three type of PCA components. We would uh, use 15 features, 25 features, 35 features and we would use three six and nine clusters uh, we wouldn't use more because it's difficult uh, to manipulate uh, more uh, clusters in business and uh, we're reducing number of features and training the k-means with uh, re uh, reduced data set okay finally when we see the results, we would use uh, 25 features and three clusters. And uh, this is good because uh, we've got three clusters. It's A, B, C. It's easy to manipulate. And 25 features is not uh, so much in uh, study purposes. Uh, when uh, we've got all these clusters, we want to uh, plot it. We can plot it in 25 feature space, uh, but it is better to see it in uh, three uh, feature space. So we would use uh, PCA reduce, uh, we would use three components, 
and uh, plotted on uh, at the three feature space. And I think uh, here it is, and we can see the magic. So we've got three different clusters in XYZ feature space. So we can look at it at XY. And uh, what we see here, so here's the like the main cluster and here is the suspicious activity. Here is the main cluster, here is the suspicious activity and it's a, in XZ feature space. Here is the main cluster and here is the suspicious activity. So after that we can show this uh, suspicious act act uh, cluster for security check and we are doing with the cluster map uh, cluster value counts and see what is our suspicious cluster so it can be helpful in your work you can uh, do it uh, with your users and see uh, how they clusterized Feel free to comment on my video, feel free to ask the questions uh, and remember to push the like button and subscribe to my video channel. See you guys!